Douglas bring in greetings from our MP. You all look great in your green and red. I'm seeing some pink in between. It's a privilege to represent Mr. Rushton Parry this morning in his absence. Mr. Parry is a man, of course, who has a passion for youth development. And this is seen in his heavy involvement in the STEM program at our schools. You all know about the STEM program, right? S-T-E-M? The STEM program is a program that gives youths the much needed push in areas of science, technology, engineering, and mathematics at our schools. If you were to go through Mr. Parry's Facebook profile, you will see that he makes himself very present at our schools, a man with a vision for our youth. So in his absence, it's a pleasure to represent him today. And today I want to talk to you young people about living a bigger, better version of you. The life that you are living right now, is it an expression of your best self? Is that, your, is that the best you that you're living right now? I believe that there is a greater version of you that exists in possibility. That great person you imagine yourself becoming, that big person you want to be having a certain type of life, a bigger, better version of you exists. So what if, what if you learned to tap in to that bigger version of yourself? What if you can live that bigger, better you right now what would life be like for you even you adults you want to have your business you want a better family life better financial life what if you can live that bigger better you right now i want you to listen young people understand that you are important you are important it doesn't matter where you're from what your name is, what your family's background is like, you are important. Here's what, there is only one of you. There is only one of you. Somebody else may resemble you, they may sound like you, but there's only one of you. That's how important you are. You were created by a great God for a great purpose. That's why you're here today. You are so important that these adults took their time off today to be here to support you. This is about us, the youth. It's about our future. Okay, so understand that you are an important person. The question is, do you behave like the important person that you are? How is your behavior at school, at home? Are you living a life in obedience, young people? In obedience to parents, to authority, to teachers, even to God, as you would have learned. When you live in obedience, you reap great benefits, a brighter future. So you are important. Understand that not only are you an important person, but you are powerful. Young lady, young man, you are a powerful person. Here's how powerful you are. That power is found in your, in your mind, in your mind. This mic in my hand right now, this mic. This mic once existed in somebody's imagination. This mic came from a mind, a man's mind. In the same way, your dreams and your goals that are now visualized can become a tangible reality if you would put action to them. Whether you want to do better at school, whether you want to serve family better, serve a community better, whether you want to be a better father, a better mother, a better employee, a better student, your goals and dreams can be achieved when you put action to them. 
because by acting on them, you facilitate the unfolding of them into a reality. You are important and you are powerful. You are so powerful that one of your smallest actions can transform somebody else's life. That's how powerful you are. Understand that. Now, people may not always understand you, and that's okay. People may call your ideas foolish. And that's fine. They don't have to understand you. They don't have to endorse or approve of your idea. That is your idea. You own it. You own it. You make it happen. So whatever you want to become or have in life, it is very much possible and it's up to you to make it happen. But you must take action. Take action to be a better citizen, to be a better contributor to our society. You're powerful. Let me tell you this. Don't allow, don't allow anybody to make you feel less of yourself, less of a person. What you will find is that people will always define you based on your present circumstances as they were. They will see your father living a certain way, see your family's background, and they'll define you a certain way and project a future for you. But that negative future that people project for you doesn't have to be the future that you live. Because by your very nature, you were meant to be great. And that is why your dreams and goals are possible. Some of us, we have failed a number of times in our lives. And unfortunately, we have chosen to settle. We have chosen to become settled in life. We settle for low grades in our exams. We settle for a low standard of living. But here's what. You should never settle in life unless you don't have a choice. And the only time you don't have a choice is when you're dead. Are you dead today? You do have a choice. Do not settle in life. Martin Luther King said, if you can't fly, run. If you can't run, walk. If you can't walk, crawl. But no matter what you do, keep on moving. There will always be something in your reality to say a big fat no to your dreams and goals. And a harsh reality will prove to you that you cannot do it. But here is what. When your physical environment is unconducive to your desired success, if you can take the time to develop that internal mental environment that is conducive to that success, it can happen. The life that you live now is based on your level of thinking. In other words, if you want better living, take time to develop better thinking. You are powerful. You are a creative being, so much so that you can change your very reality. You are a creative being. That's how God made you. T.D. Jakes said this. He said that you are a creative being and God gave you some raw materials for circumstances. Make something out of it. You are creative. Instead of wishing to have a million dollars, Choose to develop the type of thinking that can produce that money. You are creative. Tap into your creativity. And choose today to begin to live that bigger, better version of you. On behalf of Mr. Rashtan Parry, I thank you today for having me. But we just want to give special kudos again to Mr. Dylan Douglas, who did a fantastic job, who presented some very timely and sound words of advice. Please put your hands together for Mr. Dylan. Again. Oh, can I be the best you? 
You can be the best you. I, do, I don't think I could be. I think that was saying, say, I can be the best you and you can be the best me. All the way from any back so around so brothers Road New Testament Church of God, Sister Vanessa. Put your hands together for Sister Vanessa. She comes to bless our hearts and song. Sister Vanessa, another lovely young lady with a powerful voice and she's using it for the honor and glory of God. Sister, Sister Vanessa? Wow, come on, introduce yourself to the crowd. My name is Vanessa, I am 12 years old. And you're singing how long now? Two years. You can sing better than me? Uh, you sure you can sing better than me? Yes. You can make this crowd get up on the foot and dance? Yeah. You sure about that? <laughs> Glory. 